take a look at the inside of the peripheral expansion box. There's two tabs on the back here. Push it in, raise it up, and voila. Here's the insides. And what you'll see over here, this is the TI flex cable interface. Uh, this is what handle it has a cable that goes from here over to the TI. Uh, it's basically your primary input and output uh, to the peripheral expansion box. Uh, here we have a 32K memory expansion system. Um, it's just that, extra 32K of memory. Here we have a RS-232 interface. So there's a port on the very back here uh, where you can connect it up to a modem. <laughs> course we don't use those anymore uh, but uh, you could use a modem you could use uh, a null modem cable connected to your PC all kinds of options there and then over here we have the disk controller card and this is what's going to communicate with the uh, two disk drives that I have here I have two half height disk drives as great as the peripheral expansion box was back in the 1980s it was very big heavy and a bit noisy Today there are other options available to replace it with something that takes far less desk space and silent. If you want to use a mix of specialty cards with the PEB, then you'll likely want to stick with it. But if you just need a 32K RAM expansion or three emulated floppy disks or a serial port, if all that sounds good, well guess what? Here's a better option. You may want to be on the lookout for this amazing little device. It's the Nano PEB. In fact, everything that I have in my PEB exists right here in this Nano PEB. That's right, a 32K memory expansion plus three emulated drives. My system only has two physical drives and a serial port. The only problem is the Nano PEBs are in high demand and it's not easy to find. Keep in mind, if you find one, you also need a regulated 5 volt power supply, which typically does not ship along with the Nano PEB, if you're lucky enough to find one. So let's take a brief look at some of the sites that sometimes carry the Nano PEB. Alright guys, we're going to see if we can't find a Nano PEB. So one of the first places that I look at is arcadeshopper.com. So we're going to go to www.arcadeshopper.com. Press enter on the keyboard. And let's see if we can find it here. Um, so we're at the store. We'll go to the TI-994A. scroll down to the hardware so let me make this a little bigger for you go to hardware and let's see here disk drives cables flash ROM peripherals cases power supplies this looks like it might be it and right here we've got uh, cases for the uh, uh, CF7 the nano PEB and here we go. Uh, here at the bottom, you'll see the Nano PEB 32K RS-232 port in floppy emulation. Uh, unfortunately, it's out of stock right now. So maybe ArcadeShopper.com will get some more in soon. Um, you never know with these things. But this is definitely one place you want to look. Uh, another one might be eBay. Take a look at eBay. And we can type uh, nano PEB. There's uh, no places that I see that have it. All right, so let's install this nano PEB inside the TI-994A and give it a try. All right, so first, I'm going to want to use the speech synthesizer with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the speech synthesizer slot first. So let's go ahead and do that. Should do 
just pop in here and get it lined up just right. There we go. And gently push it down. So there we have the PEB, Nano PEB, the speech synthesizer. And now we'll just take it and plug it in to the TI, like so. Just like you would a cartridge. Plug it right in. There we go. Alright, so next we have the regulated 5 volt power supply right here. Hopefully it's regulated. I think it is. Uh, so we'll plug that in. And plug the power in here. And we'll plug the power into the TI. Alright, I'm going to hook up the monitor and be right back. Okay, so now we've got the uh, Nano PEB speech synthesizer, the TI, and the monitor all hooked up. So, first thing you'll want to do is turn on the Nano PEB. There's a small switch right over here. And you can see the LEDs. Alright, so it's all powered up. Next, we'll turn on the TI. Now, the monitor. And here on the opening screen here, you'll notice the Nano PEB F18 version 1. Cool. That's a good sign. Alright, so in the cartridge port we have TI Extended Basic. Okay, so I'm going to press 2 for TI Extended Basic. And here we have the CF7 Manager. Um, this will allow you to look at the volumes or um, so I'm going to press 2, I'm going to go to 6, and here you'll notice these are volumes which are basically virtual disks that are all stored on the CF card that's on the Nano PEB. If you press Control E or X, you can page up or down. So I'm going to page down, and you can see there's several volumes here. I don't know how many exactly are on here, so let's, uh, we'll press 3 for miscellaneous utilities and press CF Info and Geometry 6. And here it gives the serial number, firmware, and all that information. Um, this one has uh, nothing. Oh, maximum volumes 312. So that's how many volumes are on there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you can basically store 312 disks on this, uh, what is it, a 256 megabyte CF card. And you can use larger cards. Matter of fact, we'll do that in a little bit. But uh, press function 5 to go back to the beginning. One thing you may realize is this auto-loaded when I turned it on and went to extended basic. If you don't want to do that, you'll have to load another disk. So, I'll show you how. I'm going to quit. I'm going to type in call mount and press 1 for disk number 1 and we'll use volume 10. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in volume 10. Press enter. Now I'm going to quit. And go back into extended basic. And voila. I'm back into extended basic. Now if I want to go back and have uh, the CF utilities available, all I have to do is call mount. One comma one. Press enter, quit, 
And the CF Utilities are always installed on Volume 1 when you get a new Nano PEB. Uh, you can copy it to another, uh, another volume if you want. So now when I go in Extended Basic, it won't go in Extended Basic, it'll auto-load the CF Utilities again. And here we are. Pretty neat. Um, let's do this. Let's go into TI Basic. Call mount. One comma ten again. Press enter. All right. Now let's see if we have the thirty-two K uh, memory available to us. So we'll press two and two for extended basic and type size. We do have our thirty-two K memory expansion here, uh, so we're in pretty good shape. So there's the 32K memory. The, um, you, you saw how you can mount the volumes. Um, so everything's good. Everything's working fine. Um, so let's do this. Let's make sure that the speech synthesizer is working, which of course it should be. Call say. Hello? Hello. And the speech synthesizer works. So everything is working just fine uh, with the CF7. Uh, we basically replaced the rather large PEB with this much smaller and nicer device. Um, sure, it doesn't have some of the expansion capability as the PEB, primarily you know having empty slots where you can install stuff. If you're mainly wanting to use it with a 32k uh, memory expansion uh, having a boatload of discs available to you uh, 